I'm Pontus Neb from the band Bonafide of Sweden. And we just uh, recorded an album called Are You Listening? Uh, going to be released on the October 27th. Beautiful, mate. And it's Thanks a damn good rock album. Awesome, mate. Thanks <laughs> for joining us today. Thank you. Oh, wow. Well, so, as you mentioned, Bonafide will release your new album, Are You Listening, on October 27th. So, how are you feeling about it, mate? Are you excited? Uh, yeah, I am. Absolutely. Uh, we released two singles so far and got really good uh, response on it. So, I'm happy. Happy camper. <laughs> so tell us a bit more about the album from a musical point of view and what you were going for with it. Uh, it's it's a classic bona fide uh, rock and roll album. Uh, you could say it's a sister album to all the ACDC albums. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, it's a, that, that kind of riff rock. Uh, and we're, we're proud of it. And uh, we once again used uh, Sweden's best rock and roll producer, uh, Chips Kispi, uh to do it. So... Uh, it sounds ace as well. So we're happy. And you mentioned the two singles. So you've released Hero to Zero and Snack It. So are they a good yeah. representation of what to expect? Uh, well, well, Snack It is in Swedish. <laughs> so yeah. so that's, a, that's a different animal. But uh, um, yeah, I, I think like riff wise, that's what you can expect from the rest of the album as well. Yeah, yeah. And we mentioned like Snackhead. It, it's an interesting duo with Nisse Helberg from Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us yeah. about that song and how the collaboration came about. Uh, Nisse and me know each other from uh, way back. And I, I sang back, uh, background vocals on uh, a couple of solo albums and we did a lot together. Uh, and I'm a big fan of it. And he always sings in Skåne, like Malmo dialects. Right. Uh, and uh, I... At some point, uh, Vilmer X played a uh, big stage in Stockholm, and I, at the after party, I asked Nisse if he wanted to do a duet with me if I wrote a song, and, he's, and he said yes. <laughs> I thought he would say no because he's <laughs> very private. He, that's like the first time he's done this ever, you know. Uh, so I wrote a song for the first time in Swedish, Skånish, uh, and uh, it turned out fantastic. I would say <laughs> we're we're happy, and it streams a lot already on uh, on Spotify. Very That's good. great. And are you listening? Is the band eight bands eight to release, mate? So do you have a, a set writing and recording process for each album, or do you, does it differ every time? Uh, different every time. Uh, and this time we went back to to that producer guy, Chips. So we recorded it in uh, Music Amatic in uh, Gothenburg, where Helicopters used to record and uh, Soundtrack of Our Lives, and it's one of the best studios in Sweden. So. Um, and we, we did it mainly live, all, like uh, rhythm tracks, uh, drums, bass, and guitar was like live all together. Uh, and it was the first time a couple of times we did. It used to be drums first and then bass and blah, blah, blah. So it's good. How do you think that, that affected the, um, the overall result? Uh, groove. Yeah. <laughs> it says people usually say to us that I, I love your albums but you're so much better live so that's why we wanted to try to get the live feeling into the the, the vinyl product so to speak that's okay. so uh, if, yeah it, it, it comes down to to uh, the feeling of the songs when you when you play them together and if if it works it's <laughs> it's magic and it groove you know <laughs> yeah sure. so for those unfamiliar with bonafide mate Describe your sound. You mentioned ACDC before, but go, mm. go into your sound a little bit more for us. Uh, well, well, it's like classic rock, uh, twin guitars, drums in the middle, vocals. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, you know, uh, Humble Pie, Led Zeppelin, yep. uh, Faces, that kind of uh, classic, classic rock. That's what we were aiming for. So. Oh. So you started the band back in 2006, mate. So what was the musical climate mm. like back then that, that sort of gave birth to the band? And where did you fit in initially? Uh, well, I come from the blues. So I, I had I had my blues band. And then I really got into ACDC and, and that kind of riff rock stuff. So I wanted to form another band. And uh, that became Bonafide. And we had a flying start because the old guitar player, Mikael Fespai, he was friends with uh, the guy who who uh, had a Sweden Rock Festival. And Sweden Rock Festival had a record label called Sweden Rock Records. 
uh, and uh, that guy took us on directly. So <laughs> one of the first shows we did was at Sweden Rock Festival. You wow. know, the, the the show everybody's aiming for. <laughs> so now now we're a household name at Sweden Rock Festival. Probably played seven times or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got a flying start uh, and just kept going. You know? So what was your early vision for Bonafide and how has it changed since? Uh, it's been the same. Uh, we love playing for an audience and as soon as we can do that and people seem to enjoy <laughs> when we're on stage, having a good time. Uh, that's all I need from life, uh, <laughs> really. Ah, that's you know? pretty, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of playing live, mate, are you going to be doing a bit of a tour to promote the new album? Yeah, yeah. We're starting in Sweden uh, after after the release, and then uh, we we would love to come to Australia, but you know it's it's a long drive. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm I'm good friends with Joel from Airborne, and two days ago uh, I. I, I was uh, in Stockholm with uh, Russ Bucket, you know, Russell from uh, Electric Mary. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, they all say, you must come over, come over and play. So hopefully we can come over to Australia at some point. But now it's, we start in Sweden and then we do, uh, in the spring, we're going to do uh, a little run of Spain and uh, Germany, first and foremost, and uh, a couple of festival shows, fly-ins. So uh, that's, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah cool. Uh, we're starting um, three new Spotify playlists to help people get to know bands that we interview, mate. So using your own songs, give us one for a mm -hmm. playlist to get the party started, one for a playlist to save your marriage, and one for a playlist that could potentially end your marriage. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice boys. <laughs> Roaster 2. That, no, no, they got to be your party. songs, bro. Your songs. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Uh... That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well dirt, dirt Bound would be for the party. Uh, to end the marriage. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you tell me. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll pick one. How about one, yeah. how about one to save the marriage? To save the marriage. Uh, uh, a song called Harmony. Harmony. From, uh, from uh, the Bombo album. That's a, that's a good love song. Beautiful, mate. All right, well, thanks very much for your time today, mate. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. Are your listening's out October 27th, and it is every bit as good as what you say it is, mate, so I hope it does well for you over here. Thank you very much.